This video is brought to you by EA Game Changers. Hey y'all! Today we are building a starter home in the Sims 4 Cottage Living. Thank you to EA for letting me play this early. I'm having so much fun. This is so cute! There's only one starter home in the entire world and I thought that I would build one myself. Disclaimer, of course. The version of Cottage Living that I am playing is not the final version, so things are still subject to change. Just letting you know. Let's get started. So here is the world. There is only one starter home and I believe it's this one right here. But there's an even smaller lot, two houses down, that's 20 by 15. And I thought, what a better place for a starter home? So I've built a box. <laughs> so I was testing out the sizing. I've built this box. Box. I'm gonna turn this into a starter home. I've kind of got it laid out the way I want it We're gonna do like living room kitchen dining bedroom bathroom. It's got one bedroom It's all you need and I'm gonna put a little bit of farming things out here Just so you can join in the festivities because this house is like right next to the where all the festival stuff happens So why not partake in the community's activities? So I think I'm gonna put a roof on this first I kind of already know what I want. I want it to look very cottagey Obviously probably do a little curved roof action. You know the drill Okay, I think this is what I got. I got a little bit of overhang here, but I think I'm going to use that as like leverage for these things. If I can get it to- Ugh. What do I do here? Scratch that, I don't like it. Okay, I think this is what I'm gonna go with, but I'm gonna do a little curve to it. I'm gonna put the new texture on there. I don't know what color I'm gonna do though. I kinda like this one. I feel like that one's gonna be good. Okay, we got the trim on there. Now I just wanna give it a little curve. So we get just a little tiny, tiny bit. So we get that cottagey vibe. I kinda like it. I'm gonna move the house back as far as I can. I want enough room over here for some activities. Starter homes are a perfect place to use the debug cheat. <laughs> Free landscape. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, wait, there's so many like new trees and stuff. Girl, why are, are these not available in the regular menu? Some of these are new and they're stunning, but these are free. Oh, <gasps> like that tree is beautiful. Are you kidding? Look at these bushes. <gasps> A bridge or something. What is that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, these- Oh, these are gorgeous! A tractor! All right, let's see if we can use any of these new wallpapers outside. I'm not sure what look I'm trying to go for here. I kind of like this stone texture, but I do want to incorporate the stone somewhere because I think it's really cool. What if we did like the main part of the house, like this stone, and then the other part could be like a brick? Or should I reverse that? God, I don't know. Oh, or we could make it lighter. I love this green door. <laughs> I just noticed it. I really like it. I wanna make it work. Oh my God, they make the windows in green too? Wait a minute. Okay, I've changed this about a hundred times, but I think I'm gonna stick with this. I'm sticking with it. They also have this like dark, it's almost like a navy blue color. It's pretty cool. I like all these colors. Okay, I think I've gotten everything taken care of. This has taken me a lifetime to do. <laughs> I don't know why this was so hard, but it was. For some reason, this was just tricky. I don't know, but that's the house. I think it's pretty cute. Hopefully I can keep all of these flower boxes there without going broke or without reaching, you know, the $20,000. I really, I really want to keep those there, so I hope I can. Yeah, I really want to put like stuff up here too, but I'm scared that I might, I might go a little over budget. So let's just wait on that, but I think this is fine. <gasps> I found debug ones. Can't lower how tall they are though. No, I thought I found a way, but I didn't. <gasps> However, I did find this. And this is amazing. What if I put one here? Oh, I don't know if this makes any sense because you can see like the vine. <laughs> I think that looks kind of cool. It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but whatever. We can also have some going up the columns, which I think is pretty cool. I think that's fun. I don't know. I'll have to decide if I still like that later. I don't know. For now, I'm kind of iffy. As of right now, I'm just going to put one tree out there because I'm going to put some like farming stuff. I don't want to take up too much space. But we can go ahead and fence it in. I think that looks really cute. We can like connect it to the columns. I might, I mean, I you can just get in through here. So it's actually, it's fine. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I was gonna say I could put a gate in, which I do like. This is the problem. This stuff, not necessary. How much have I spent? $8,000. I haven't done anything on the inside. Okay, we'll delete that if we need the money, okay? Let's light this place up. We need an archway going in there. I also put a door to the back here. So if they want to go out, they can't. If they want to go like out back here for whatever reason, maybe I should switch this actually. I almost think I should put the door there and put windows over here. Okay, so maybe we switch that around because this will go into the farming area, which I think makes more sense. Okay, hopefully this all isn't too expensive because I do want to use like the wallpapers and stuff. I hope they're not too much. Okay, they're pretty cheap. This 
Where's my favorite one? This is my favorite one by far. I This pattern gets me every time. You know what? I might do a light wood like this. Just to contrast like how dark all the accents are. Like all the windows and everything are so dark. Actually, I might just lighten the wallpaper up because I kind of like the dark floors in here. I feel like it just makes sense. Okay. We've got a lot of wallpaper happening here, but I don't mind it. In the bathroom, we're just gonna do a cheap tile though because we're trying to save some money. Because I know for a fact that I, I really want to use this couch. It's not the cheapest of couches, so I want to use it, but you know, we gotta be careful. And then I want to use like two chairs over here. They just fit so perfectly. And I want a fireplace. Oh my God, I'm doing pink chairs. <gasps> Mint and pink? This is a winning combination. This is a winning combination. Because then I also want a fireplace in here. Shockingly, this is the cheapest fireplace. They're both beautiful, by the way. I don't know which one I want more, but I think this one I can fit a TV on and that I like. Ooh, but do I want to buy a TV? Oh, hold on. But should I be buying TVs for this house? Like how much is this guy? $25.95? Okay, so perhaps we incorporate this one. <laughs> Actually, this one doesn't really have any light colors that I like. I do like this one. Maybe we could put like a painting or something up there or a mirror or something maybe. I don't know what exactly I can fit up there. Also, I, I only have base game and this pack installed. So, oh yeah, that's not gonna happen. Since I can't get anything to fit up here, I'm just gonna put a bunny. For some reason, this game did not give us coffee tables. It's honestly an insult. They did give us an in table, but that is all. It's okay, we still have base game to save the day. Okay, that's like the living room area done. I do want to use this new console table right here just because I know it fits beautifully. And screw it, let's make it pink. Honestly, let's go. I'll put some lights outside because I know it's going to be dark out here. Oh, that actually looks really cute. Okay, we're at $11,000. I need to chill out. I'm going a little crazy. I just want this house to be cute. It's so hard to make base game houses. Okay, so I'm a little bit nervous about this one because I have an idea in my head. I just don't know if it's like too much, like if it's gonna cost too much money. Okay, but that fridge is cute. Come on. I really want to use this sink. You know what? It's actually not as expensive as I thought it was. Let's just stick it in there. We'll do a pink stove too. <laughs> okay, we're at 13,000, not too bad. I would like to get some upper cabinets, but if it's too much, then I'll just walk away. Okay, that was kind of a lot. That was kind of a lot. It also kind of looks a little cramped. I feel like that's slightly better. I feel like I want to make maybe this one like a little bit bigger. This might be a little ambitious, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we'll use this table because it's cheap. This game did come with new chairs, which I think are really cute. We'll do some chairs to match the wallpaper. I can't decide what I want to do here though. Ooh, I like these pink polka dots. I know that kind of matches. You know what? There's pink in this wallpaper. It will work. Wherever I can squeeze pink in, it's happening. Okay, that's 16,000. What if I used the new table and the new chairs? It's about the same. I might squeeze that in just because I can enlarge the rug and make it look more grand. I don't know. I might just squeeze in this little table in the corner here. I'm not exactly sure what this table is for, but it's really cute. And I just want it in here somewhere. I'm gonna worry about artwork and stuff later. I kind of want to just get the necessities in here. And by necessities, I mean necessities with a little decoration. All right, so for the bedroom, there is a new bed. We'll use the new end tables. I might just go for white and put down like a colorful rug. Like make this more colorful. That's the same color rug I used up there. God. Oh wait, there's a pink and green one. Oh, I should have used that one. There is a pink bed, but the, the, there's just so many florals happening. That's kind of making me nauseous. What if I used a different rug? There's got a, is there just like a plain rug? I forgot we're working with base game here. So yeah, there's not a lot. We could do pink and green again. Eh, let's try that. That looks interesting. We'll just do like a white rug. Just a lot of color happening here. I do feel like those lamps fit the aesthetic. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's put in a dresser. There is a new one and it is so cute. I love this new dresser. It is adorable. I love it a lot. Oh my God, we're almost out of money. <laughs> Okay, hopefully we have enough for the bathroom. Would be a shame if we didn't. Here's the thing. We're pretty much out of money and I have no farming stuff outside. This is a problem. Something's gonna have to go. And I think it's gonna have to be these cabinets. Maybe that can stay. Actually, I don't know. Maybe I could do like one wall of cabinets. Uh, let me see, let me put the outdoor stuff there first. I don't know how much this costs. Oh, it's only $10? Oh, great. I don't know if we'll be able to afford any like, maybe a chicken coop? They're not that expensive. And then we'll put a couple of these down. I'll even throw in like a few normal planters in there too. A picnic basket? Okay, I actually think that that's like okay for outside. Like, I feel like that's fine. I added another window right there because I feel like it needed something. I feel like that's okay. The only other thing I could think to put over there is they have a new bench. Wait, where is it? Oh, there's hay, which we could stick over here, fill in some space. That looks kind of cute. I might do the same thing over here. I could have sworn there was a new bench. Am I crazy? Yeah, 
Where were you? You're kind of expensive. Maybe a mushroom. I kind of want to put in a mushroom. I really do. Oh God, I'm over the limit. Ah, no. Okay, maybe I don't put in one of those benches and I just put in like a cheaper bench. <laughs> that one for some reason doesn't show up here, which is really odd. I don't know where it would show up. I can't find it. Oh, it's in love seats? That doesn't seem right. That's $400 and this one's 145. You know what? I might just go with my original plan and like stack some hay, maybe put a mushroom. God, we have like $300 left. I feel like I might have to stop there, but I feel like that's probably fine. I would have liked to put more decor, honestly, but you know, I feel like for a starter home, this is actually pretty good. I probably could like remove that. I'd like to put some art on the walls, stuff like that. But alas, there's no more money to be given. So there we go. There is my little starter home over here in the, <laughs> into the thick of it, right over here in the, the little town center where everything goes on. And you're next to this really pretty like fountain area. I really like that. But look, I got a coop in there. I got a three little patches plus two planters. I feel like this house has everything you need. It's got one bedroom, but two Sims could live here for a freshly married couple, perhaps. I feel like squeezing in a little dining room and stuff too is pretty good. I could have gone with cheaper appliances, but these are just too cute to pass up. So voila, that's my starter home. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye.